This is a rape revenge movie that tells a story about a troubled woman named Miriam who is on the age of divorce. She returns home to her younger sister after years apart. But when her sister and brother-in-law betray her trust, she embarks on a vicious crusade of revenge. This movie clearly believes its graphic depictions of violence automatically equate to edginess. But it's so damn busy trying to shock and unsettle it completely forgets to interrogate the dynamics around the rape of its central character, Miriam. It aims to subvert and interrogate the patriarchy only to indulge in the very tropes it's trying to criticize. The movie can be immensely powerful when it isn't trying so damn hard. It makes everything feel almost cliche, like it doesn't think the audience will get the message without them hammering it home. This turns Miriam into a caricature more than a character and the impact on the film is muffled. While Miriam's eventual revenge is graphically, gruesomely depicted, it fails to truly follow through even on condemning it since no real fallout or aftermath is shown. It fails to provide a fitting explanation for what comes after. Miriam's rapist, Dylan, isn't just a man she's known and trusted since her school days. He's also her sister Greta's husband. That this is shattering is a given, but what the movie does shows of the sisters' estranged relationship fails to explain why Greta doesn't just refuse to believe Miriam, but blame her and continue to be intimate with Dylan. Rather, it spends far more time on Miriam and Dylan's dynamic and its violent turn. It believes it's empathizing with Miriam's pain, but it's actually wallowing in it. As soon as the movie becomes about Miriam taking her revenge on Dylan in gruesome detail, it loses steam. While watching her deal with the consequences of her choices, the film asking us to question if the punishment fits the crime, and obviously, it doesn't. There's also a big problem in the storytelling approach. To mimic Miriam's fractured mind, this movie is presented out of sequence non-linear with the scenes jumping back and forth in time without warning. Instead of going from point A to point B, the narrative bounces back and forth as it mixes up the build-up to the central crime, the actual event in all of its horror and the equally ghastly aftermath as Miriam works out a plan of revenge. The viewer has to do some work here and try to figure out just when some things are supposed to be happening. Too often though, the approach means that every time the film begins to build up a head of steam, it then curtails it by switching to a different point in time and forcing viewers to reorient themselves. It creates an overwhelmingly confusing atmosphere that saps the story being told here of much of its energy. Overall, this movie is not worth our time.